Hi everyone, how are you all doing and welcome back. So with Battlefield 1 being free on Twitch Gaming till August the 1st, I thought now would be the sort of the perfect time to help those new players to be able to rank up fast and sort of unlock the weapons they want to unlock. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. So the first way to get a huge amount of XP is to complete the weekly challenges. As you can see on screen, so the first few steps offer you 5,000 XP, then the final step in sort of the list uh, of challenges within that medal offers you 25,000 XP. These challenges sort of vary from week to week and sort of are sort of class dependent or sort of offer you sort of either, you know, some things to sort of time with classes, you know, whether it be working as a medic, assault, support, recon, or, you know, maybe just getting a certain amount of damage with different classes or a certain amount of kills or something to do with the vehicles, you know, just make sure you read through them and they all track within the game. So you haven't got to like select one and stuff like that. They all sort of, uh, in the background, you know, just work towards them and you'll get huge amounts of XP, you know, a good couple hundred thousand each week if you complete these. Now, moving on to the classes, we'll go over which ones offer the most XP when using them. Taking the number one spot, I'd say hands down is the medic class. Simply by reviving teammates, you get 50 XP, squad mates is 100 XP, and you can get quite a bit of XP from either healing teammates with either the bandage or the med crate. So by just playing the classes role, you get quite a bit of XP from it. Taking the number two spot, I'd say it's close between either number two and number three, but edging it is the recon class. So by playing sort of an aggressive style and dropping flares on the objective, as well as sort of spawn beacons and stuff like that, you get quite a bit bit of XP from spotting and getting kill assists by using the flares, especially on close quarter match you can get quite a bit of XP. Moving on, number three is the support class, so by throwing down ammo, whether it be through the ammo pouch or the ammo crate, once again you can get quite a bit of XP from that, and also repairing vehicles as well, you can get quite a bit of XP from sort of keeping your vehicles on the move and sort of keeping your team in the fight. And then finally I say it's the assault class, so so the best way to get XP with this is of destroying vehicles, you know, damaging them and stuff like that, and getting kills. So the assault class is sort of the weakest, just because with the medic and support and sort of really kind of are kind of, I guess, in a way, passive and easier way to get XP. Whereas the assault is more sort of centered around destroying vehicles and getting kills. So moving on to the best game modes for XP. Number one, I'd say is front lines, due to the linear nature and sort of the length of the game, so you can get quite a bit of XP from it. Second, I'd say, is Operations. Once again, quite a linear game mode, and the map's gone for quite a while. You know, there's multiple points that you're attacking, and there's sort of over multiple maps as well, so you can get quite a bit of XP from playing them, and they are sort of long duration games. Third, I'd say, is Domination. Sort of fast paced games, once again, you know, close quarters, chance to get a lot of kills, and sort of capture objectives and get XP from that. Number four, I'd say, is Conquest. You know, it's less linear than the other games, but, you know, if you get the sort of the right maps or kind of get on the points capturing it there's a huge chance to get quite a bit of xp from conquest and finally i'd say is rush once again a linear game mode so sort of not really capturing objectives but you're sort of arming them and attacking them and you know it's more just because of the linear nature you know it's high pace and you get quite a bit of xp from getting kills revives and, and whatnot however at the end of the day it really comes down to what game modes you find enjoyable and sort of work best for you there's no point really getting like annoyed or sort of burnt out playing game modes that you don't really like or don't want to uh, so as in the long run, this sort of affects how much XP you get. So really, it's down to what you find enjoyable and what you want to play the most. Just jump on there, and you'll do well, and you know you get XP that way. Finally, the other ways you can sort of earn XP from sort of playing how you like, sort of any class, any sort of vehicle, and whatnot, is one use the squad XP boost. So from epic crates, you get a chance of getting a sort of squad XP that sort of affects both yourself and your squad. So if you get like that, make sure to drop it on when you're doing good. Um, squad orders, so if you're a squad leader, dropping squad orders on either defending flags or flags that you're capturing or just objectives in general, uh, you get 200 XP from sort of completing those. So, you know, it's a good way to get a bit of easy XP from just being on the point or even if, you, if you're on the other side of the map and you see one of your squad mates is on that objective, put the squad order down and you'll get some free XP for not even being on the point. And finally, spotting enemies uh, just by pressing Q. Uh, on any class, you can get uh, sort of spot assists and whatnot from that. But those are sort of the three sort of main sort of other ways you can get XP. So I hope this little video helped you out and sort of helps you level up quick to be able to unlock the unlocks that you want and get the weapons that you want to get. So if it did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below if you've got any other ways to rank up quick or what I can even do better with these videos, always looking to improve. If you want to see more content like this in the future, whether it be for Battlefield 1, 5, or any of the previous ones, even 2042. Make sure to drop a subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.